we will state this again later, um, but I do want everybody to know that we will be recording this event. Uh, so that's not something that you and your family would like to have your face shown. Please turn your cameras off, but we do encourage you to dance with us, to be here with us, to vibe with us, and to show your face. Uh, that really does build that community network. We have alumni, advisor from YAS, new board member for SWC. I see you, Jared. A little head nod. Go, Jared. Go, Jared. Go, Jared. Hi, Peter. Kobe. Uh, Lina. Hi, Mina. If you are a host for tonight, please have your camera on. So when we start, you are ready. We got this. Go ahead and let's get I'm ready. I'm eating a sandwich start. right now. Okay, we'll put that sandwich down. How do I also get like a speak with purpose background are we all supposed to have We've already passed events? that stage and we're gonna blur it okay hello Jared. what's up Mohammed? i see you okay, i'm a crystal you. friends tennis played roblox you. we see you brent Many familiar faces and new ones. See, Marley's here. Hi, Marley. Pathfinder students. The Summit Atlas students. Miss Crystal. Crystal. Yes. I was having difficulties joining. Okay, I will send her parents the um. The link one more time, okay? Okay. Hi, Aiden. Brian from Zero Fearless Ideas in the house. Go, Brian. Go, Brian. Go, Brian. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Miss Crystal, Purity wants to know. Oh. Huh? What? You're muted, Miss Crystal. Purity what does Purity mean? Purity wants to know like how to get into the meeting. Okay. Um I will text it to you and if you can forward that on to Purity. Okay. Thank you. Okay, bye. Oh, no, not you. No, not you either, Miss Crystal. Right. Started in about two minutes. So if you see that one of your friends is not here, now it's time to text them, call them, get them here. We're starting at 6 05.
Miss Crystal, this is B. Um, Kyla's mom. It says the meeting's at capacity when I try to join. Miss Crystal, you're muted. Thank you, thank you. We are going to work on that right now. Thank you, B. Hey, Jared, what is that? Alex, one of our teaching artists. Woo woo! Hi, Alex. Hi, Sadie. Nola. Willow. Ready for the summer? Checking in and see what we can do about um, increasing the capacity. Thank you. Okay, I need my host to have cameras on and be ready. And I just want to welcome everyone as we continue to gather tonight. Please take a moment to verify your name and pronouns are listed correctly in your Zoom tile. If you are a student, please also put your school and your grade. If you are not a student, then please put how you are here by us. If you're a parent, community member, teacher, principal, et cetera. And you can edit this by clicking the three dots over the Zoom tile or clicking your name in the participants list. And we are about to begin. So as we begin our gathering for Rising Voices, we respectfully acknowledge that while our event today is taking place digitally, the soil and ground it has been recorded on is Coast Salish land, the ancestral lands of the Duwamish people, a people that are still here, continuing to honor and bring to light their ancient heritage. We pay respect to Coast Salish elders past and present and extend that respect to their descendants and to all indigenous people. Thank you. And I'm going to turn it over to Toya to kick us off. Thank you so much, Sophie. Hello, everyone. I'm so we are so pleased to see you and what a great problem to have that we're at capacity 100 plus people coming to hear our young people speak up and speak out. So welcome to the eighth annual rising voices oratory celebration teach the truth. My name is Toya Tine Taylor and I am the executive director and founder of we app which is now known as Speak With Purpose or SWP. Before we get started tonight, I wanna to welcome everyone. You are our We App and Speak With Purpose family. This year's theme is inspired by the current attack on what scholars can learn in schools. Over 30 states, including Washington state, are looking to have already passed or have passed legislation this year that limits what social justice topics scholars can learn about in school. The legislation targets any teaching about structural racism, gender, identity, sexual orientation, sexism, and politics. 
I invite you to enjoy an evening of scholar voice as they speak up and speak their truth. I am now honored to pass the mic to our scholar hosts. So go ahead, scholar hosts, where are you? I need you to strike a pose, strike a pose, strike a pose. And then we will, they will be your guides for this evening. So everybody, let's give them a huge virtual round of applause. All right, or put it in the text, or excuse me, put it in the chat, a round of applause for Daryl. Take it away, Daryl. Welcome everyone, my name is Daryl. My pronouns are he, him, and I am a sixth grader scholar from WEAP South Shore Pre-K through eight. What's up everyone, my name is Zahara and my pronouns are she, her, and I am a seventh grade Speak with Purpose Scholar from South Shore K. And hi, everybody. My name is Conscious. My pronouns are she, her, and I am an eighth grade SWP scholar from South Shore K. Before we get started with tonight's celebration, let's make, take a moment to remember our Speak with Purpose community agreements. The SWP community agreements are one, this is a safe and brave space, and two, we all belong. These agreements are important because the passion pieces that you're going to hear tonight were created with these, with these agreements in mind. We want to make sure we are all here to support and celebrate each other. Let's start out with school shout outs. Unmute when we call your school. Let's see which school is the loudest, or can you wave at the cameras? Do we have any South Shore K through eight scholars with us today? Come on, South Shore! Woo! Woo! Come on, Josie. Do we, Stop. Do we have any Pathfinder K eight scholars with us today? Pew, pew, Wave pew. in the camera and don't be shy. Hi. Do we have any Orca K eight scholars with us today? Are there any Submit Atlas High School scholars in the house? Submit Atlas that would be in the me. house. Woo -woo. That would be me. Do we have, are, there me. Any, are there any Jane Adams scholars with us today? Woo! Um, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. We're so, we're so. Let's review some Zoom tools that we need to keep in mind while we're together. Mute. Okay. Any back? It's over like that. Mm -hmm. Chat feature. Use the chat box to ask questions, write positive comments, and give affirmations. But please stay on topic. Please use the reaction. Please use the reaction features to share positive feedback silently. Click on participants, and at the bottom, there should be a blue hand you can click on to raise your hand if you have a question. This event will be recorded. If you don't have your if you don't have your media release form signed, then please keep your camera off. Thank you. Hey, I'm going to do, do a quick interjection here. I want us to test out some of these Zoom tools to make sure that we have those ready. Um, so for the reactions, I know I think some of our screens, depending on devices, look a little bit different. For me, if I press more, I can find the reactions there. Um, so I can do a heart. If you have that, can you go ahead and try that out? Or yes, we've got some fun ones. Nola, thank you. We've got some hand claps, thumbs up. Those are different ways that you can interact that don't require your volume to be on. So thank you for everybody for using those pizza. I'm not sure, Brian, when that will come up, but it may be, if it does, like it, it could possibly be appropriate. I like the cake, Erica. Okay, sorry to interrupt host, go ahead. So what even is a passion piece? If you're a We Up Speak With Purpose scholar, then you know the answer. But for our friends and supporters tonight, we're going to have to explain. A passion piece is a speech that a SWP scholar writes with a heartfelt topic in mind. As SWP scholars throughout the school year, we work hard to discover our passion pieces and write them down as a way to share our voices, our thoughts, and our truths with the world. Put your passion piece topics in the chat. What were you passionate about? You will experience our passion pieces in eight different categories, two for elementary and five for middle school and one for high school. Dwayne. One last thing I would like to interject. Um, 
please make sure you're on speaker view. There's multiple ways that you can be viewing this. Um, as like when we're screen sharing, it will have some things up, but you, what you can do for view is go speaker view and the person who's unmuted will pop up and they'll be bigger on your screen. So that may be helpful to follow along because we have so many people in this meeting. Okay, I'm just waiting for the categories come up in the chat as well. These, these uh, categories are amazing. Lies about history, Black Lives Matter, no more, no more sexism, being grateful for people, political opinion, how they divide us, amazing. The categories for elementary are stories of the world and stories of me. The categories for middle school are global citizenship. If you really knew me, teach the truth, challenging the system and we, are unlimited. This year's Speak With Purpose is only in one high school class, so we will be announcing the top three from their class presentations. Tonight, we are celebrating all of our scholars' voices and also awarding a top prize of $200 for first place, $125 for second place, and $75 for third place for each category. Tonight, as the categories are introduced, you'll get to meet some new members of the SWP family as they help us introduce the categories and the winners. Before we introduce the first category, I would like to invite everyone to unmute and repeat after me as we say the following affirmation. If you're able, go ahead and unmute and repeat after me. It's not dry, it's a pow. We say hungry, the vow, put it on, put it on, take what's out. I am who I am. 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 I have, the right I have the right to be here. I have, I have the right, the right, right, to, the right to, be to be here. I am powerful and capable. I am, I am powerful, powerful and I am capable. capable. I, am capable. capable. I am unmuted. I am unmuted. There's Freya. Thank you, everyone. Now, please meet yourselves as we have members of the YASC Youth Advocates for System Change introduce the first elementary category. Hi, I'm Lily from YASC, which stands for Youth Activists for Systemic Change. And I go to Shortcrest High School and I'm in 10th grade. Hi, I'm Aja from YASC and I also go to Shortcrest High School and also I'm in 10th grade. YASC is a nonprofit youth led organization that strives to educate ourselves and others. We do this by holding community events like free movie nights, conducting weekly meetings to collaborate on projects, and creating educational social media posts. YASC is a wonderful opportunity for youth ages 12 through 18 to build life skills and gain community service hours. And yes, we use our talents and interests to work toward improving social justice issues and help our community thrive. Yeah, not only is YAS an empowering organization, it's like a second family. Our advisors are kind and flexible around our schedule, and every month YAS takes its members on fun hangouts such as to restaurants or musicals. To get involved and learn more, you can follow YAS on Instagram at YASC underscore council or email us at YAS, YASC info at gmail.com. We are recruiting and would love to have you join our team. The first category we will see tonight is stories of the world from our Orca and South Shore elementary students. The Stories of the World category showcases student pieces that talk about issues our communities are facing day to day. Things like climate change, racism, sexism, public transportation, the COVID-19 pandemic, and more. Let's give a big virtual round of applause to the nominees in this category. Willow, Liam, Sophia, Elsie, Nora. Hey guys! Mustafa, Freya, Sully, and Dylan. Yay! The Yay. Stories of the World Bronze Award goes to...
Willow, Orca Fifth. Woo! Yay! Woo, woo, woo! Congrats. Yeah. Congrats. The Stories of the World woo! Silver Willow. Award goes to... Freya, Orca Fifth. Yeah! Nice Congratulations! You did really good. Awesome, Freya. And the Stories of the World Gold Award goes to... There are so many world problems we could talk about. Climate change, racism, sexism, animal killing, wars, the homelessness crisis, sexual abuse. I could go on for a long time. One of these huge problems is how people in the LBGTQ plus group aren't being treated fairly. I mean, why? It's awful. These people have been mistreated for years upon years. Five minutes would have been too long for them to be mistreated. Once I was on the play structure playing freeze tag. A non-binary person fell and hurt their ankle. They started crying, the type of crying you do when you're really hurt. Then a fifth grader came over and started making rude imitation noises of the crying. Hey, I said, stop, that's rude. Guess what, the fifth grader said in a rude mimicky voice. I don't care. And that's how a lot of people react when you stand up to their bullying. Did you know that once a baker in California refused to bake a wedding cake for a gay couple just because they were gay? Did you know that so many trans kids never tell anyone their actual gender because they're afraid to be bullied? Did you know that trans women, mostly trans women of color, get shot for being themselves? Did you know that people hate other people just because that person is transgender or non-binary or gay? This is why I'm telling this to you. If you don't know about a problem, then how are you supposed to try to fix it? If you see a trans kid being bullied, then stand up to the bully. If you see a poster with rude comments about people in the LBGTQ plus group, then tear it down. If we work together, then these problems can be solved. I know it might seem impossible, but it's true that they can be solved. We need to stop these problems. We should all be fighting for all people to be equal forever. I mean it, we need to start now. And now doesn't mean next year. Now doesn't mean next month. Now doesn't mean next week. Now doesn't mean tomorrow. Now means this very second that I'm talking to you. So let me say it again. We need to start now. Yeah! Yay! Congratulations! Woo! You all did super well. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing so great. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Let's make some noise for our first winner. Would you like to say a few words? Elsie, if you are with us, we'd love for you to unmute. Uh, hi, and I just want to say I'm so excited. I did not think I would win first. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you to all my friends who supported me along the way and gave me the confidence to do this. Yes. Thank you so much, Elsie. Let's, so, let's show some love in the chat for all of our, our elementary scholars. Next, we will have members of the Bureau of, Fear, of Fearless Ideas introduced to the next category. Hi, I'm Brian. And I'm Roberto. And we are from the Bureau of Fearless Ideas. You may recognize us from the writing workshops or from virtual lessons. BFI has been working as a partner with WEAP Speak With Purpose for four years. The next category we will see tonight is stories of me from our elementary students from Orca and South Shore. Woohoo! The stories of me category showcases brave pieces about a scholar's personal identity. As teaching guides help create safe and brave classroom spaces, students become more comfortable sharing the authentic parts themselves with their classroom communities. 
Let's give some love in the chat for the nominees in this category. Give it up for Grace and Amira, Sadie, Zora, Toby, Naya, Sabrina, Jared, and Will. And the Stories of Me Bronze Award goes to Amira Orca Fifth. Woo! Congratulations. The Stories of Me Silver Award goes to Jared South Shore Fifth. And now, the Stories of Me Gold Award for the year 2022 goes to... It's not fair. People fix injustice every day. Just because I'm African and they're gross, should I be treated unfairly? No! Is it fair people suffer for justice? Martin Luther King, Muhammad Yusufi, I'm proud of who I am. You gotta deal with it. So if you think different, get out and stay up. So bye bye and be gone. Thank you. Let's give it up for our winner. Okay, now, would you like to say a few words? Thank yeah, we'd love you. to hear you. I'd like to thank my friends, teachers, my family, but also inspiring people I learned about. Congrats, everyone. Those are some amazing pieces. Now that, now that we've awarded our elementary scholars, we want to encourage everyone to turn their cameras on for a quick community building activity. Don't be shy, you're going to need your camera on for this. In just a moment, I am going to say a letter of the alphabet. You will then have 45 seconds to find something around you that begins with that letter. My bad. For instance, if I say the letter C, you might find a coat, a crayon, or your pet hamster named Charles. Can I get a thumbs up if you're ready? Okay, let's start with G. Hey y'all, you have Wait, what, what letter? What letter? Uh, letter G. 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 G, okay, thank you. I'll just go ahead and get that Siri clock up and oh, running. Greg. Oh, Alexa, set. Volume, set. Timer, 45 seconds. 45 seconds, starting now. And put your view in gallery. Oh, so wait. That you can see everyone else's. Does grass count? Yeah. Does grass count? Yeah, I'm playing too. Oh, I'm muted. I get, there's nothing oh, wrong about, about graphic me. novel. This has a guitar. Yeah, graphic novel. Grand. I, you don't have to do much. Um, already there. I was, I was, oh, um, I was a cup. C. Um, last oh, B. I'm saying last last cup. Last? Does a gray sweatshirt work? Yeah. Last Absolutely. Yeah. Does, a, a, does oh, a green phone case Green glass bottle. Ooh, got a giraffe going with Trevin. Does a green phone case work? Yeah, absolutely. Alexa, I have uh, a green marker. Gum. That's it. Time's up. All right. Next. Next is the letter R. 45 seconds on the clock. Time is clicking. Alexa, set timer for 45 seconds. 45 seconds, starting now. Dang it. Can't find nothing. Don't be afraid. Go ahead and put it in the chat too for what you have. Rudolph, there's a rain boot. I'm seeing a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Rubber eraser. Red pencil. 
a rubber like, band. Apron's got a wrapper, like but I didn't know that that type of wrapper was started with an R. Wrapper doesn't start with an R. <laughs> a music wrapper. Depends on what type of wrapper, but uh, I don't know what kind of wrapper he has. Alexa, stop. And lastly, the letter B, last chance. Let's see what you got. Alexa, start time, set timer for 45 seconds. 45 seconds, starting now. Here, wait, I got one. What did you say? I got three. The letter B, we're on the letter B right now. That's the letter B. And lots of books, I love it. We got some readers out there. Some bubbly seltzer. I got a water. baby. I got a baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> best thing. Okay, I'm that's the best you. one. That's the best one yet. I got a red okay. box. Get up. Is B a oh, box? It is a box. Ryan and Kenneth, you might be calling each other on your banana phones. I, I got a I got a I got a blue cutter. Banjo. Oh, I see some sparkling, some bubbly. I see some bubbly. Willow's grandparents. Yes. My thirsty. second favorite banjo. Banjos and babies. Next, next album title. Hmm. Nola, you have to play something on the banjo next time. I have no idea how to play. It's my dad's. So I'm more of a trumpet person, but if I knew how, I would. I tried it. I am not good at it. Lisa the baker would have butter on hand and like some good butter too. It's very much a baker staple. I see you. <laughs> All right. Thank you all for playing. Let's all get comfortable for the next category. Mr. Austin, are we ready to move on to middle school? Let's see the next lineup of videos. Hi, I'm Matt, a We App Speak With Purpose teacher that works with our high school Summit Atlas scholars. Hi, I'm Alex, a We App Speak With Purpose teacher who works with Orca Middle School and Pathfinder scholars. And we are introducing the next category. Next up for middle school scholars is the global citizenship category. In Speak With Purpose, we encourage our students to become global citizens, meaning that their curiosities, advocacy, and awareness go beyond the limits of their own zip code or state and enter the global consciousness. Topics in this category truly highlight our scholars as empowered world changers as they use their voice to create a better future. Let's see the full list of nominees for this category. The nominees are Dave Young, Rhea, <clears throat> Josephina, Merritt, Abram, Evan, Nash, Ricardo, William, and L. And the Global Citizenship Bronze Award goes to... Evan from Jane Adams, sixth grade. Woo! The Global Citizenship Silver Award goes to. L from Jane Adams, sixth grade. Jane Adams cleaning up. The Global Citizenship Gold Award goes to. Imagine you are confused about your gender, your sexuality, or your race. But when you go to the library, there are no books. When you go to your teacher, no response. This makes you feel like something is wrong with you. This is what you are doing to your kids when you ban important things like books or history. This is why I believe students should choose what they want to read or at least have an opinion on what they learn. Teachers and parents want you to read about math problems and history on America. But that doesn't help you learn about you. A book that parents are trying to get banned is Drama by Raina Telgemeier. This book is about a young girl who is in love and went to a dance. But what I notice is the young boy who is also in love with the guy and is confused. 
This can show kids that it's okay to be confused and it's okay to be you. When I read this book, I didn't see anything wrong with it. The main idea of this book is about a girl being on a stage crew and going to a dance. But when I was reading it, I saw behind that. I saw a boy trying to find himself. Maybe I don't relate to being gay, but I could feel what he was feeling. Scared, confused, and alone. This book can show kids that it's okay to feel this way. It is about feelings and gaining perspective on your identity. This book can help kids see that it's okay to be yourself, and that is why I think it should not be banned. Books in important periods of history are being banned all over the world, but it is being noticed in Texas. There are many students in Texas who are fighting back, going on the news, writing letters, talking to teachers. Why do you think kids are doing this? It is because you are not listening to what they want. If you took a moment to listen, really hear what your kids are trying to say. For example, these two young girls in Texas went on the news to talk about their parents banning books. They were talking about how they don't have any books in their school that they can relate to. And how the teachers don't really teach anything important, like black history or gender. This is an important topic because adults think that they are protecting their kids when really they are holding them back. Adults should give their kids room to grow and let them experience the good and the bad. Let them read about gender and sexuality and race. Let them learn about black history. I know it's hard to watch your kids grow up, but when you hold them back, you are pushing them away. Thank you. Great job, Joe. So good. Um, I just like to thank my family for um being here with me, and I'd like to thank Miss Crystal for teaching me what I know, and I'd like to thank Wea for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Now Conscious is going to get us into that next one. Is it hard? Go ahead and read that line for Conscious and let's uh, keep okay. it keep it pushing. Now let's all go now let's all go to our Zoom reactions to find something to show these videos some love. Who's ready for our next award categories of the evening? Let's see how excited you are by leaving a comment in the chat or with a reaction. Let's see the second category of middle schools. Mr. Austin, take it away. Hi everyone, my name is Austin and I'm a program manager here at WEAP Speak With Purpose. And I'm Tenzin, a sixth grade Speak With Purpose student at Jane Addams Middle School. And I'm here to introduce the next category for middle school scholars if you really knew me. As part of the Speak With Purpose curriculum, we ask scholars to dig deeper into discovering how their identity is a unique and diverse part of the world around them. And we also learn that sometimes sharing those parts of our identities can be challenging, depending on who we are with or where we are or how safe and brave we feel in a moment. Scholars in this category chose to speak up about the part of themselves that are sometimes unseen. Let's give a big congratulations to all the nominees in this category. Santi, Ellen, Darby, Gabby, Tia, Janavi, Peter, and Elisa. The If You Really Knew Me Bronze Award goes to... Tia from Jane Adams 6. And the If You Really Knew Me Silver Award goes to... Janavi from Jane Adams 6. 
And finally, the If You Really Knew Me Gold Award goes to... Throughout my life, humans have done nothing but disappoint. This might be true for most of us, or it might not. But what I think we can all agree on is that humans are jerks. I mean, we destroy the environment. We destroy other people's hopes and dreams for our own selfish gains. And we insult people just because we feel like it. Now, I don't pretend to be an expert on human behavior, but from my point of view, those are all things we probably shouldn't do. Maybe this is too much to ask. Maybe it is just in our nature to hurt others. But I'd like to think that that's not the case. And so I'm going to try and convince you to treat others with a bit more respect and kindness. Now, one of the first things I would like to say is that being nice to other people costs you absolutely nothing. And it is guaranteed to improve someone else's day. I want you to think about that for a minute. There is literally no reason to not help someone out because all you're doing is helping to make the world a better place. Of course, I'll be the first one to say, being nice to everyone isn't the easiest thing. I can attribute to the fact that I'm a jerk. I know many people who could be considered jerks, but that doesn't mean we can't try to improve. And that same precedent applies to you. The world as we know it is a hateful, spiteful place full of people who would drag down others for their own gain. However, that doesn't have to be me and it doesn't have to be you. Humans are amazing beings. So amazing, in fact, that I believe that we could live in a world full of kindness and respect if only we try. To be frank, I don't care if people need to. I really don't. But there are people who care. And the actions we are displaying to them are unreasonable and we need to stop. We need to stop being hateful to others just because they're different from us. We need to right the wrongs of society. So if you see someone, then help them out instead of hating them. This could be something like offering a hand to someone who's fallen down, or something as simple as complimenting someone's work instead of critiquing it. Because especially right now, we can't afford any more hate. Thank you. Peter, if you'd like to say a few words, say hi, Peter. We can't hear you, Peter. Can you hear me now? All right. I just, I want to thank my friends and my family who really helped me out with this. And I want to give a huge, huge thank you to Miss Taylor because she really helped me out a lot and made this. And she really was the one who pushed me to do this in the first place. So I want to give a really big thank you to you. Put some love in the chat for those winners. I'll turn it over. Oh, never mind. That was really inspiring and awesome. Our next category is Teach the Truth. Hi, I'm Ed Lee, and I'm proud to be one of the newest Speak With Purpose board members. To present the middle school category, I'm joined by my daughter, Jewel, who is a Pathfinder seventh grader and participant in the Speak With Purpose public speaking class at her school. Hi, I'm Jewel. I'm a member of the seventh grade Wolves cohort at Pathfinder. And my favorite part about the Speak With Purpose class, co-taught by Tim and Ms. Toya Taylor, is when I get a break from my normal classes throughout the day. The last middle school category is teach the truth. To us, teaching the truth means a scholar is able to look beyond the truth taught in schools, in communities, and in our culture, and is inspired enough to go out seeking for their own truth. In our classrooms, we talk about defining the dominant culture, going beyond the majority, and using our voices for the power of positive change. Even in our country now, there are laws trying to define what truth we can tell in classrooms. 
the speak with purpose knows that our truth, past and present, is the most powerful. And the middle school nominees are Marlo, Julissa, Matthew, Claire, Kyla, Violet, Jay, and Stella. The bronze award goes to Kyla from South Shore Six. Woo! The silver Woo! award goes to Marlo from Jane Adams. And the gold award goes to Think of a time when you were in class and you're having one of those racism talks where you learn about how black people fought for equal rights. And you hear about all these trials totally and how a black person who just died. Because the white officer wouldn't listen. Next time, homie got robbed. Priest, or a black activist being in prison for sitting in the wrong spot on a bus. Now think of a time when you were taught how the African people lived before the trauma, before the enslavement, and before the murder. You can't. That's because you weren't taught. Adults always say that I'm so lucky that I get to learn about my culture, but I'm not because I'm not learning about my culture at all. I'm learning about how white people treated my culture. I'm constantly asked if I feel like my culture is represented and celebrated at my school. But honestly, I'd be lying if I said yes, because all we ever learn about was how horrible your culture treated mine. Every time I sit through one of those classes, I hear something totally different than the people around me. I hear that I'm in danger and that I'm different from the rest of my friends, and that I need to be careful because I could be the next learning topic. But what if our accomplishments were the next learning topic? Where no one was seen as the other because it was normal to see a black person at Pathfinder K-8. Where we were honored for what we've done instead of remembered for how we were treated. I can't wait for that day to come, but I'm worried it never will because we're too small-minded to see a black person for anything more than the shade of their skin. And believe me, I'm not saying that these lessons aren't important, I'm saying, instead of telling us what you did wrong, let me tell you what we did right. Take Kamala Harris, for example. She's not only the first African-American vice president, but also the first female vice president in US history. Or Mansa Musa, he's by far the richest person to ever walk this earth. This is my history. The history that was never written in the textbooks, but the history I had to teach myself. The history that doesn't scare me when I learn about it. This is the history I can see myself and others in. This history needs to be the next learning topic. Stella, are you with us? We'd love to hear a few words from you. I'm gonna spotlight, hold on just a moment. There you go, okay. Um, hi, I, um, I'm really happy that I won. I, I really didn't think I could do it, but I I want to thank uh, my friends and my family, of course, but I would also like to thank Ms. Toya because she's the person who I could always just look at whenever I needed a boost or someone who I could look at who understood what I was talking about or might have experienced it. And so seeing, seeing just someone there who gets it just really helped. So yeah, thank you. You did it. You did it. So proud. Two more middle school categories to go next. Next up, challenging the system. Hello everyone, I'm Ms. Crystal, we have Speak With Purpose Teaching Guide. And I'm Davion, fifth grade, a we have scholar from South Shore K-8. The next category we'll see tonight is our very first middle school category. Challenging the system, this category has scholar represented from four middle schools. Those schools are Orca, Pathfinder, our very own South Shore, and Jane Adams Middle School. These scholars wrote with activism in mind as they created powerful pieces. 
that encourage audiences to speak up and speak out against broken, unjust, and inequitable systems. Let's hear from the norm, Romneys of challenging the system. Abby, Jamar, Kalia, Janice, Jay, Gabriella, Charlie, Trevin, and William. The challenging system bronze award goes to Abby from Jane Adams Six. The challenging the system silver award goes to Janeth from South Shore Six. And the Charging the System Gold Award goes to. Imagine a world where it is always hot and it's impossible to see the sky. You are walking in a forest or what used to be one. Plant life is scarce and you can't hear a single bird. This is what our world could look like if we do nothing to stop climate change. We need to take a stand and change the way we live in order to preserve all life on Earth. Every day when I walk to school, I can see the mountains that are just past my house. Many years ago, those mountains would still be covered in a thick blanket of puffy white snow. Now, all I can see are small streaks of grayish white. This is an example of climate change that I can see in real time. In addition, the weather is getting more and more severe. People are experiencing periods of extreme, extreme heat or super severe cold. And yet, we seem to just ignore this problem like it's not even there. Like weeds, slowly eating up a garden, but the gardener can't see it. This is a problem we all, we all, we all need to pitch in and do the little things that'll help make this world a better place for all of us. We cannot just ignore this problem. We have to face it head on. Animals are dying because of the plastic we routinely just toss away. And the ice that keeps our planet's climate stable is melting. Because would it really take that much time out of your 24 hour day to take the time to sort your garbage into the recycling, or maybe just take the time to walk or bike to school. Because it's our job, it's our job to protect our planet because we only get one. We don't, there's only one earth for us to live. We have to share, we have to protect it. So we may need to change some of the aspects of how we do things, some of the ways we live our life. But if we do nothing, if we do nothing, our world is going to crumble to pieces. So if there's something you could do, do it. Because now it's the time. It's time for you. It's time for all of us to take a stand against climate change. Thank you. Yay, Trevin. Trevin, do you want to come say a few words if you're online? Hello. Well, I just really want to say thank you to you, Miss Sophie, and my language arts teacher, Miss Wendroth, really inspired me to do this. And also all my friends and classmates in language arts for really just being super supportive and um, being really kind and just like encouraging me so much. So. Thank you, Trevin. Thank you so much. So proud of you. Such an excellent job. True leadership. Our final middle school category is We Are Unlimited. Hi, I'm Miss Sophie, lead teacher and program manager. I'm joined by one of my fifth grade ORCA scholars. Hi, I'm Patel from ORCA. And my favorite part about WEAP is how I learned to be confident in myself. The next category we will see, also for middle school, is the We Are Unlimited category. Pieces in. We Are Unlimited showcases the diverse and deeply personal nature of writing passion pieces. Topics in this category cover a variety of interest groups, including ethical treatment of animals, the real cost of war, growing up as an oldest sibling, and more. Thank you, scholars, for bringing your passions to this category. 
Let's see the full list of nominees for this category. We have Tenzin, Noelia, Aaron, Cosmo, Emma, Theo, Logan, Jane. We are unlimited bronze award goes to Cosmo Pathfinder 7th grade. Woo! The We Are Unlimited Silver Award goes to Logan Jane Adams 6. And the We Are Unlimited Gold Award goes to Woo! Would you want to live in a world unified by lies? A poet once wrote, unity without verity is no better than conspiracy. By the way, verity means truth. Unity without truth is no better than conspiracy. Our world has no unity, questionable truth and verity, and a lot of conspiracy. If you are a young person right now, chances are you have the same political views and opinions as your parents do. Which means if your parents have strong political opinions, you will too. Not to say that strong political opinions are entirely bad. In fact, I think that's what forms good politics. But that leaves little room for the latest ideas to be formed. And for the latest ideas to be formed, you need to be informed. If your main political education is mainly coming from home, you won't get to learn about all sides of politics. In the US, there are two main political parties, Republican and Democrat. Almost all Americans have the same response. One party is good and one party is bad. This is mainly because our minds are desperate to have a right and a wrong. In America, we have the amazing right to have an opinion. And if we were not allowed this opinion, it would be as much a problem as, as we're dealing with today. The real problem is how our personal opinions have morphed into countrywide division. This effect, the division can be seen in politics, neighborhoods, and even families. For example, on one side of my family, we do not all share the same political views and opinions. Because of that, I barely ever met them in my entire life, and even bringing them up will cause problems. A Pew Research Lab study showed that only 2% of Americans can have an open enough mind to listen to the other side's political opinions. This means that everything takes much longer, and it makes it extremely hard to come to bipartisan agreements. Our country is rapidly causing its own constitutional crisis. And the parties aren't just against each other, they're also starting to micro-divide in the parties themselves. So, how can we solve this huge division in our country? First, we need to start with the education system. Students learn about politics and political awareness in high school. By that time, students have already formed their political opinions and won't feel moved to change even when exposed to new opinions. We need to start educating students at a much younger age. America also needs to realize that judging each other's opinions is also going to cause more problems and division. Thank you. Emma, if you're in the audience, please speak up. Hi, um, thank you so much. Um, WEAP is just such a valuable teaching experience that you don't get a lot to give us such a voice. Um, just thank you so much for the whole thing. Great job, Emma. Okay, thank you, Conscious. Our final category of the night, the Summit Atlas High School. Mr. Austin, take it away. Hi. I'm Michael Brown with the WE app Speak With Purpose Advisory Board. I love being part of Speak With Purpose because I believe in the importance of helping kids develop their voice, their leadership, and their agency. Finally, we have the high school category. This category celebrates and highlights the incredible work of the Summit Atlas Charter School Scholars. These pieces bring insight into the lives of teenagers voicing their opinions about peer pressure, growing up, and what needs to change in the world we live in. The nominees are Mina, Meyer, Mercedes, and Maka. The bronze award goes to Mercedes, 
from Summit Atlas. The Silver Award goes to Mina. And the Gold Award goes to Dear parents, your expectations of me have always been high and somehow I've always fallen short. You've provided me with warm clothing, shelter over my head, food in my stomach, and a suitcase full of trauma that I have yet to unpack. Although being parents were just words to you, being your daughter was something I had to live with that has followed me like a shadow in the lights of my days and in the dark at nights. You set standards for me and expectations that I couldn't follow and weren't temptations and I couldn't provide an explanation for I had other occupations, but wait, you don't understand the situation. I was just a child. And I bet you didn't take that into consideration. And I bet you didn't think about the complications of robbing me of my childhood and what's left of my salvation. And to think all along that I had disappointed you when in reality you have disappointed me and to now see that I didn't deserve that. I didn't deserve to be the one labeled off as a disappointment child. I didn't deserve the wind that came and threw me off. I didn't deserve it then and I don't deserve it now. And I hate how you made me question myself when the problem wasn't always me to begin with. How although I wasn't perfect, what I brought wasn't enough to obtain with. And how after every single accomplishment, the words, I am proud of you, weren't what we end with. And for this reason being, it's why I hate to give you credit for whom I've become. Because along the journey, I was alone and waiting for you to come and you never came. And who am I to blame to look for change after being disappointed I have found peace in your absence and isolation as a balance. I am no longer paralyzed with sadness or frozen from the lack of love and appreciation from your side. I no longer seek for your approval. I no longer wait for you to show up. I no longer wish to hold on to this. And I no longer want to allow you access to my emotions and deny you the privilege to continue to repeat the past. I am no longer allowing you to weigh me down. While the world is still afloat, I no longer want to feel like I'm drowning while everyone is still surviving. Self-doubt is one of the many things people struggle with, especially me. For years, I constantly struggle with people talking down on me, calling me a mistake, saying I'm not enough, or saying that I'm not worth their time. And hearing people say that sticks with me because what I try to do is be enough for everyone, be enough, yeah, just be enough for everyone. Someone that can make people happy, Someone that people can have fun with. Uh, and all the time that I've spent doing that for other people, I never put that time in myself. Mm. And because of that, I never understood myself. And I never accepted myself for who I really am. Put some love out there for our high schoolers. I think we have a Maka in the house. Maka, are you here? And I see Meyer too. Please, please bless us with your presence. Okay, well, we'll see you at school on Monday. Congratulations to you both. Wait, 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 wait. Ms. Taylor, Ms. Taylor, Ms. Taylor. Okay, all right. Hold it. Wait, was that for first place? Yes, Meyer. It was. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Congrats, uh, Meyer. Thank you. Uh, I'd just like to thank Ms. Taylor for everything. You've been so helpful, and I appreciate you, and I'm lucky to have you as an important person in my life. Thank you. Did that. You did that on your own, Meyer. You, you both deserve it. Well deserved. Congratulations. Out there for, oh, yes, sir. congratulations to all the scholars showcased in this category. And a huge congratulations to all of our Speak With Purpose scholars this year. We are all winners and winners because we made the choice to be heard. This year certainly hasn't been easy, but individually we took moments to reflect and together we united as a community and created to work 
that speaks to our culture, humanity, and hopes. Thank you, Conscious, for those inspiring words. Before we end tonight, we want to celebrate the work of our entire year by taking a look back at all the incredible things we have made together. This end of the year video highlights some of the work SWP has done over the past 10 years, as well as highlighting out Seattle scholars this year. This year would not have been possible without the support of our co-teachers, administrators, community partners, and advocates. We will show them as part of the video, but we, we will show to them as a part of the video, but we want to take a moment to say their names out loud as well. Okay, thank you so much. So firstly, uh, before we do that, um, Speak With Purpose co-teachers, I just want to give you an amazing shout out. I see a lot of you are here today, as well as, again, administration, um, other teachers just here to support. So thank you so much, but really our co-teachers that are in the classroom, uh, every day with me or Miss Sophie or Ms. Oscar, Ms. Uh, Taylor. So thank you so much. I'm just going to shout you out by name. We have Miss Megan, Miss French, Miss Upshaw from Orca K through eight. So go ahead and give them a shout out, Orca. Woo! You heard for that. Woo! Yeah. And from South Shore, we have Miss Spur and Mr. Englert. From Jane Adams, we have Miss Miss Christensen, Miss Walsh, and Miss Winderoff. From, sorry, from Jane Adams Middle School, and then we have Tim from Pathfinder. Thank you all so much for co-teaching with us. We need you. It's amazing when we work together. Thank you. We also could not do this work without our community partners. So I want to shout them out as well. So thank you to Best Arts for Kids Liberated Village the Bureau of Fearless Ideas, Charlotte Martin Foundation, the Creative Advantage, and the Seattle Office of Arts and Culture, Discurran Foundation, King County Metro, Medina Foundation, PICA, the Sanctuary Arts Center, Seattle Department of Transportation, Seattle Public Schools, Seattle Seahawks, Shun Pike, and the Walsh Construction Company. We thank you so much and we cannot do this work without you. We couldn't do this without our SWP staff either. Thank you so much, Ms. Taylor, Ms. Sophie, Mr. Austin, Ms. Crystal, Teacher Alex, Mr. Matt, and Ms. Carrie Lynn. Zahara, my dear, you're on mute. Thank you for telling me. Um, thank you for all you do. Now sit back, relax, and let's remind ourselves the different ways we have Speak With Purpose scholars taught the truth this year. Ten years in the making. 10 years of lifting our voices with confidence and power. 10 years of imparting wisdom to generations that follow. Generations of youth who are shifting the narrative. Leaders who are striving to better their communities and themselves. Scholars who are taking pride in education and empowerment. The reason I chose this topic is because it's my generation's problem. 10 years of youth standing for greater and moving with intentionality. Doesn't mean I can't change the world. We act, present, and perform with tenacity, with power, with confidence, with purpose. Purpose that has brought collaborators from far and wide to stand beside us. You can do something every day that your future self will To guide us into greater. Teachers who lead us in and beyond the classroom. And the community who stands unified against issues that impact us and our futures. We've unmuted ourselves and up the ante, standing loud and proud in our identities. We've raised our fists and our voices in solidarity. You are voice for voiceless. We've gone beyond the margins to help the marginalized. We waved our flags to promote love and pride. We stayed motivated through our adversities. 
We've gone back into the classrooms and we've pulled up our sleeves. After 10 years, we are here. We are past, present, and future. We are the change makers, the movers, the shakers. So we speak, speak up. We speak, speak out. We speak with purpose. My name is Toya Tanae Taylor, and I'm the founder and executive director of formerly known as We App, We Act, Present, Perform, and now, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> speak with purpose. Speak with purpose. Yes. Wait, why can I not hear you, Emma? Teaching young people to speak up and speak out, not be afraid of their truth celebrating their culture, their self-authored identity. So we do this work in schools, Speak With Purpose, grades four through 12. This is something that has to be a part of curriculum where children's voices are always put in the forefront so we can understand their personal and unique stories in order to teach them the way that they deserve to be taught. Teaching them to speak up for themselves in the classroom setting, at home in their communities, this is what global citizenship is about. I don't see any child as just a, a local leader. I see the potential of changing the world in every child. They just need to know that they can do it. When you hear the word fear, you probably think negatively about it. However, fear could be a good thing if you don't let it control you. In, in fact, fact, it, it could, could be, be what, what you, you need, need to succeed. succeed. I have fears about not being enough. I have a fear of knowing what to do, but not knowing what to do because something clouds my judgment. I, I have, have fears. fears. Now on the end does increase that demanding language. Look at your piece. Where could you say it needs to happen now? And if I don't become a teacher, I will find my way. With my head held high, voice to the sky, and just speak up and speak out. It's like helped me express how I feel instead of just like keeping it inside of me and like being able to like talk to people about my stuff and like how it affects me. We write a lot of stuff down and lots of people have a different medium of art that kind of they use to express themselves. My form is writing. Kind of getting to write stuff down, especially my thoughts, helps me kind of understand it and just kind of get things down in a way that I can actually explain it. This summer 2022, we make a full transition. We at will continue to be an LLC, and I'll work more with corporations in terms of professionals, learning the craft of speaking in corporate America or in their communities. And Speak With Purpose is our nonprofit where it is strictly working with our young people, uh, our youth, to grow into leadership and uh, the self-discovery through their voice. That's, that's meant a lot. We got a lot more to do. And I'm just asking community members to come along on that journey with us. Thank you all for joining us tonight. We are incredibly proud of all of our scholars, but can we show some big love for our scholar host tonight? Daryl Zahara Unconscious, thank you for leading this event and doing it so fabulously. Woohoo! <clears throat> thank you. Awesome, yes. Thank you. Yes, they did amazing. Had some scares and some moments, but they came through. Appreciate y'all so much. But wait, hold on. Do not log off yet. We have one more surprise category that we decided to put in. So we are having an award 
and it's called the Spirit of Speak with Purpose Award. So let me reintroduce myself. I am Sophia. To many of you, Miss Sophie, I am the lead teacher and program manager here, and I specifically work with Orca fifth grade, Orca middle school, and Jane Adams scholars. Hi, everybody. I'm Austin and or and always Mr. Austin. I'm the other program manager and teacher repping for the Jane out of scholars in the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm cleaned up. OK, I am Miss Crystal. Um, I'm a teaching guide here. I work at Orca Fort with Orca fourth graders as well as South Shore. All the all of the grades of fourth fifth and middle school. So lots of love tonight. And before we end tonight, we also want to give a huge thank you to our panel of community evaluators. So these evaluators are volunteers that watched each and every Rising Voices submission. And there were just under 100 this year. So lots and lots of videos. And they were the ones that determined the gold, silver, and bronze placements by using the performance rubric that we use in class to evaluate speeches throughout the year. Congratulations again to all of our, our students, our scholars for this incredible work. As part of this scoring process, there were a couple of standout pieces that really deserve some special recognition. So we are calling these the Spirit of We App Speak With Purpose Awards. And these awards come with a nice $50 award prize. Um, so this first Spirit Award goes to a South Shore fourth scholar named Alex, which I don't believe is here right now. But so some of you that know, um, I'll be coming and delivering that to Alex. The second Spirit of Speak With Purpose Award is going to go to another fourth grader at South Shore, and that person is Aspen. Aspen, are you in the house? Ooh. I'm just going to say, because those are my scholars, so I wanted to share really quickly, Alex's piece is about transphobia and really talking about their identity and what they really want to fix with that. And Aspen's piece is about homelessness and really focusing on um, how we have so much, people have so much, and why can't we really do more to protect those that need our help? So those are the standout pieces from Social Health. The third Spirit Award goes to one of my Orca Middle School scholars, Charlie. And I know that Charlie is in the house. So Charlie, do you wanna come off a of mute, come on camera? Share out, maybe share a little bit about what your amazing piece is about. I just want to say thank you to everybody that supported me through this and helped me push myself to be the best that I can be through this. Thank you. Charlie, do you want to share out really fast? What is your piece about? My piece was about um, racism and the history of the blackness of his, the history, oh my gosh, my bad. The um, black history that hasn't been noticed. Um, and I just wanted to present that that's a part of my history that I haven't learned a lot about and I had to teach myself a lot about it. Thanks, Charlie. Ms. Crystal, you're on mute, my friend. Thank you. Um, the fourth spirit of Speak With Purpose Award is going to go to another South Shore scholar, this time a fifth grade scholar, and that scholar is Moss. Moss, are you here with us? No, Moss. Okay, Jared, you have to let him know, Ms. Burr. You're going to have to let him know. And Moss's piece was about friendship, and Moss has just been bought into WEAP from day one. If I need anything, anybody to be right here with me, it's always Moss. And so I just really want to congratulate him. Um, and he is going to be one of his fifth grade promotion speakers um, coming up soon. So I'm excited to be working with him and the spur with that. All right. Our last student Speak With Purpose Spirit Award goes to an ARCA middle schooler. Ellen is Ellen in the house tonight. 
I'm using my binoculars to sort through the Zoom room. I don't see an Ellen. Sophie, tell us a little bit about Ellen or Miss Crystal. Sure, and I know that Lissa was here earlier. I'm not sure. Lissa, I see you're still here. Can you maybe grab Ellen to jump on? <laughs> She's hiding. hiding. Ellen had an incredible piece and um, her piece is about art and the power of art and how art is a thing that she can do to really release herself and to express herself. And I also just want to shout out both Charlie and Ellen. I have now taught them for three years in a row. So it's really, really special to see their growth over the last three years. And our final Speak With Purpose Spirit Award. And this one actually goes to a very special co-teacher who we have, I have worked with, Miss Crystal has worked with, and we have spent a lot of time singing her praises. She adapts in every situation and is really an integral part to the success of our programming. So let's give it up to Miss Spur from South Shore fifth grade. Y'all, y'all gotta give Miss Spur some big hugs tomorrow. Miss Spur was here, maybe kept out and had dinner time. Understandable. It was definitely here. Awesome. Y'all, can we give one big final uh, heart react round of applause, unmute yourself, ow, ow, moment for all of these Speak With Purpose Spirit Award winners. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, yeah. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations to you all. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Awesome. That was amazing. Bless you guys. You're great. So before we all head out, although Speak With Purpose is almost done for the school year, be sure to keep an eye out on our social media for all kinds of exciting updates. We will be back in schools this fall, and we hope to see most of you again next year. Thank you all for coming to support our scholars. Feel free to learn more about Speak With Purpose and how to provide support by visiting our website at theweappstudio.com. I'll also put it in the chat along with our social media handles. We truly cannot do this work without you. Now, before we all leave, I want to turn it back Bye. to our executive, Leah Taylor. Before you say adieu, I just want to say to all of you, excellent work. You were all winners this year because you did the work and you all spoke your truth. So the process is what well, creates the process is what creates winners. Okay. Not just the gold, silver, and bronze. So keep doing the work. We also want to say look out because we'll be starting the speakers bureau, which is going to be we're selecting speakers over the summer to um, actually get some coaching and some training. So look out for that. We'll be contacting parents directly about the Speakers Bureau. And just remember that this is collective power and collective purpose. We don't do this work alone. And I want to thank our partnering schools, Pathfinder K through 8th, South Shore Pre-K through 8th, Sujiyama High School, Orca K through 8th, Dearborn International, John Muir, and Jane Adams Middle School. We are so grateful beyond words. 2022 marked 10 years that we've partnered with SPS. And we do this work collectively to ensure that our scholars are represented and given the opportunity to lead. I also wanna thank each PTSA and most importantly, our WeFab Founder Advisory Board, our new SP, or excuse me, SWP Board of Directors as well. Our Speak With Purpose and we have parents and community members who keep showing up and lifting us up. Thank you again to Best Starts for Kids, the Terp Liberated Village for ensuring community-based organizations like WEAP and SWP have resources and continued funding throughout the year and the years to do this work. Many talk about what needs to be done, but SWP is honored that we are in partnership with organizations and communities that are committing to doing the work with us. So thank you parents, teachers, schools, our co-teachers, our teaching guides, our program managers, 
uh, Sophie and Austin and Crystal for doing this. This was incredible and really honored our students. And that's what this is about. And everyone, remember to continue to speak up and speak out. It's been time to unmute. Listen to your children. Allow them to be unapologetic and uncensored, especially when it allows them to change the world. Mr. Austin, do what you do and play some good vibes as we say good night. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. See you all later. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you, Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Mr. Austin, for being a lot of humor. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Congratulations to everyone who got an award. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye, Derek. Good work, everyone. Bye, Jared. Bye, Peter Stearns. Jared, loving the shirt. <laughs> Thanks, uh, uh, parents and grandparents. All yeah. the time. Bye, is it with the red light? I see you. Oh, gone. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Um, did everyone leave? Almost. There's yes, no. you can leave. Okay. Good Bye. Work. Bye, Sahara. You're great, Sahara. Bye. You're great. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks. Thank you for inviting me to this. <laughs> Thank bye. you for putting in the time. Bye. You did. Thank you. Bye. Stop recording. Well, yeah, I'm kicking you out. Go to sleep.